is this coming through? Okay. All right, so this is a lens test of a ENG lens on a Micro Four Thirds camera, in this case, a Panasonic GH5. Uh, I've always been interested in these lenses just as to whether they were uh, actually an option for video on these Micro Four Thirds cameras. If you look into these cameras, they're made for a two-third inch sensor, but they often come with a optical doubler, or sometimes they come with an optical doubler that will make it fit onto the uh, Micro Four Thirds sensor. So that's what I've got in this case. Uh, this is a Canon YJ 19 by 9, so a 19 times optical zoom. Uh, yeah, these lenses have a lot of benefits. One big downside, benefits quickly. I will use my notes. Uh, build quality is amazing. They're really expensive lenses, new. This is just a standard definition lens. I picked it up on eBay for relatively cheap. I can't remember how much. Um, but yeah, really expensive, brand new. They're made for video from the ground up, so they're par focal, which means you can zoom in on something, set your focus, and then zoom back out and back in, and it'll retain focus on that point that you set, uh, which stills lenses don't always do. Uh, they are constant aperture across their whole zoom range. Uh, this one's a, on the Micro Four Thirds sensor, I think it's an f3.6, if my math is correct. Um, and yeah, so constant aperture across its whole zoom range, which is 36 millimeters to 684 in full frame equivalent. So that's pretty good, 36 to 684. Um, yeah, big downside is they're made for CCD sensors though. So you'll get like these weird optical things going on. Um, I can't remember the names of them right now. I didn't make notes, but uh, you can look up that sort of things like color fringing, I guess, and uh, oh, other stuff. It'll turn green and purple when on out of focus areas. So that's a bad thing, potentially. If you stop the lens down though, it helps with that a ton. So. That's the purpose of this test, just to uh, let you see what these will do in real life. Camera settings, just so you know, everything's been color corrected and we're shooting on in 4K, 10-bit, uh, 16 by nine aspect ratio. Um, I think that's it. We've got a train in the background, let's make use of it. All right, so I was on an f5.6 there, which will have made it relatively sharp. I've got it on uh, aperture priority, I guess, would be the term. All right, so this is going to be... Okay, so we're wide open now. It's going to be a little soft. We're zoomed all the way... No, nope, we're not zoomed all the way in. Now we're zoomed all the way in. 171 mils in the lens. We will uh, do a quick promo for Costco, Maersk, and the CAI, whoever they are. And CN. Good job, CN. Keep it, keep it moving there. Okay, so so we're uh, yeah, zoomed all the way in there. 684 in full frame terms. So that's pretty good. Oh, roll and shutter. Okay, so we're wide open right now. I'm going to stop it down. We're zoomed all the way in, and that's when it's kind of looking its worst. <clears throat> um, and we're wide open, which is also making it look its worst. So I'll just stop it down. So now we're on f2.8. Now we are on f4. 5.6, f8, f11, looks like we're maybe running out of uh, shutter speed here, it's getting a little darker, okay, f16, you'd probably never want to run it that dark, or uh, that close down anyways, optically, okay, now we're just going to zoom out, so 80 mils, Go back to wide open here, 80 mils, so that's the equivalent of 160, no, 320, what am I saying? 
F2.8, F4, F5.6, F8, F11. Okay, opening her up again. 40 mils on the lens. Wide open. 2.8. F4, F5.6, 8, 11, 16. Okay, wide open. 20 mils in the lens. 2.8, F4, 5.6. 8 just gonna look around a bit on f8 as I remember f8 is kind of like a nice it's kind of like the sweet spot but that's pretty pretty dark two more stops below that is like an f16 on a regular micro four-thirds lens so eh that's the big downside is you have to stop down so much to get your quality to be decent. So just depends on what you're using it for, I guess. Okay, we're on uh, nine mils in the lens, so 36. A moment ago, we were on uh, 20 mils in the lens, so uh, whatever that is, 80. Okay, just opening her up again, wide open. Again, 36 mils, equivalent, f2.8, f4. F5.6, F8, F11, F16. Okay, so that's, uh, that's the story. Thanks for watching. Hope this is useful uh, to you if you're considering one of these lenses.